Hi to friends! Okay, so I'm taking a break from all these reviews to give you my first ever of the year top 5 video. Not top 15. More specifically, the top 5 things I don't have time for in video games. Check it, I'm a busy girl in the real world and I'm a busy girl in the virtual world of video games. There are just some things in video games where I'm like, why? Why doesn't this work like this? Why doesn't this move faster? Just why? And, and so on. So here's just a list of crap I don't have time for in video games. Number 5. Grinding for rare drops. Listen, as I said before, I really don't mind grinding. Now, as a lover of JRPGs, you kind of have to take the good with the bad, and grinding can often be associated with being bad. Now, depending on what I'm grinding for, depends if I mind the grind or not. Grinding for levels? No problem, I can grind for days! As long as I'm getting stronger, my stats are rising, I'm unlocking new abilities, I'm good. Now, fighting an enemy over and over to hope to land a 2% drop rate, or waiting for a certain time of day for a certain item to appear, or having to chip off a piece of an enemy's armor or skin to get a certain item, it I, I don't, I don't have time for that. Mm -mm. For those people who grind to get the best armor, the best weapons, the best overall equipment in a game, you have godly patience. I cannot fight the same enemy over, over, over in hopes to get an item when I'm getting like three experience points. Like it's, it's not even worth my time. Now if I'm grinding for an item but I'm also gaining levels at the same time, I'm okay with that. As long as I am getting stronger, my character, my raw character stats are getting stronger, I'm fine. Once again, it's just the moment I am not gaining levels efficiently, I start to get irritated. Oh, and you know what pisses me off when you're grinding for items? There's a level cap. Like in Xenoblade Chronicles or Xenoblade Chronicles X, there are something called super bosses. The level cap in Xenoblade Chronicles X was 60. I beat two level 80 super bosses in Xenoblade Chronicles X, and let me tell you, it was hell because I had basic bitch armor. And I was not patient enough to go out and farm it, so I was like, fuck it! Super bosses are optional bosses that are at an unreachable level. I looked at what items I needed for my scale and my party members' best armor pieces, and I needed several rare drops, and I had about like four on hand. Like, no, I'm not grinding for these items, it's just not happening. How people make time for such a tedious grind is beyond me. Number four, collecting everything. I honestly have no idea how people do it. Completionists blow my mind. I do not have the attention span nor the willpower to play a level repeatedly in hopes that I have reaped everything that level has to offer. There is only one game I have 100% completed, and I'll give you multiple choice. Was it A, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, or B, Super Mario Galaxy 2, or C, Spyro the Dragons Ripto's Rage? I will let you know at the very end of this video. But really though, there is 101 Dalmatians in Kingdom Hearts, and I don't got the time to hit up every nook and cranny to find these walking puppy coats. There has to be some high incentive for me to want to collect stuff. Actually though, this is kind of a bad example because I did find a decent amount of puppies because I think I had to upgrade Arrow to Aroga, and in order to do that, you needed X amount of puppies, and I personally needed that skill to beat the stupid Chernabog or whatever it's called. My point is, I do not have time to collect everything. Na 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 number three. Aiming. Yup, that's right. I don't have the time to aim for nothing. Yo, I've never been into shooters. I've played Call of Duty twice in my life. Like one time, two games, and I sucked. But it was really fun though. The closest shooter game I've ever gotten into was Splatoon. And I am the worst sniper I have ever seen. I played one. One round with the sniper, and I was aiming at someone which was difficult because their stupid dumbass was moving around so much, and someone popped my head off instead. Seriously, I spent about like a minute, minute and a half trying to aim. God, I am such a terrible sniper. I'll stick to my duck hunt gun and my roller, thank you very much. And yes, the duck hunt gun, or any gun for that matter, you have to aim, but you don't have to be as precise as you do if you're a sniper. Okay, what I'm saying is, unless auto-targeting is a thing, you don't ever want me to use a ranged weapon. Ever. Okay, I'm not that bad, it's just with a sniper rifle. Two, 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 walking. I hate walking. I don't like walking in video games. Hell, I don't even like walking in real life. With the exception of Sonic and I'm sure a few other characters, I'm generally annoyed with characters' walking speeds. Like, move faster, walk with purpose. It drove me nuts in Undertale walking everywhere. Sure, there's a tra-la-la river man or river woman. But that only took you to three points in the game where you still ended up walking a lot. And your character pretty much at the same walking speed as Red in Pokemon. Can you imagine how annoying a Pokemon game would be to traverse without fly or a bicycle? Yeah, sure, it might be a little bit of an unfair comparison comparing Undertale to Pokemon, but you get my point. Just praise Beeth with the games that offer you a faster traveling option earlier in the game. I appreciate you. Number one. 
reading. I literally hate reading. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Kovic, nearly every game has reading. You literally just did a review on Phoenix Wright, which is a visual novel, which all you do in that game is pretty much read. Okay, let me explain. I don't enjoy giant walls of text, especially if it's optional. I like it short, sweet, and simple, and to the point. I don't know why I don't mind reading when it's line by line versus like, boom, wall of text. Like, yeah, Bayonetta, you could pick up a book and you could read it, learn about the lore, it's optional, that's cool. But if you're like me, I was the person in Skyrim where they would open a book, hope to learn a stat, then close it and move on. I didn't give a fuck what that book had to say. <laughs> Raise me a stat is what I cared about. Oh, and especially Mir. An entire section of the game was just reading. And if you played the second game a second time, there's even more reading! I don't like reading walls of text in my video games. If I wanted to read, I would read an actual book. I just know if I am going to read something, especially in-game, it has to be instantly captivating. And if it's optional, I'm probably not going to read it. <laughs> I may skim it though. And yeah, I'm aware that I could be missing out on some really interesting lore, but for the life of me, I cannot bring myself to care. And if it's that important to the story, they should have made a scene for it. Or if they don't have the budget for it, at least make it short, sweet, and simple, you know? I feel like some games go into excruciating detail. But hey, some people like reading and enjoy that extra knowledge, so I feel like that little reading segment in video games is just for you. And that, my lovelies, concludes my top five things I don't have time for in video games. Let me know in the comments below what you don't have time for in video games. Also, you may have noticed I am now at 900 subscribers. So that means we are 100 subscribers away from having 1,000 subscribers. So I'm so excited. So because I'm so original and no other YouTuber has ever done this before ever, I want you guys to leave in the comments below two questions you wanted to ask me as for my 1,000 subscriber video, I figured I'd just answer questions that you guys have for me. What kind of questions are you allowed to ask? You can ask any question you want. Doesn't mean I'll answer it, but ask away. <laughs> and don't worry, you don't have to ask questions like, why do you call yourself Lady Pelvic? Or why is your channel called Pelvic Gaming? It's such an odd name. I plan on answering all of that in the video for you guys. So yeah, uh, ask two questions in the comments below and I will answer them in the video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. My top box is the top five playlist, and the bottom box is genocidal goodness. So, I think my next Let's Play will be Life is Strange. I've heard some pretty good things, and I know absolutely nothing about it, other than it has some pretty heavy adult subject matter. Thanks again for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And the answer to the game I 100% completed is... Super Mario Galaxy 2. Also, let me know if you got it right or not in the comments below, and let me know what games you 100% completed. Once again, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.